Okay, Cali. <coughs> Excuse me. Gonna show you how to do the video, bro. Uh, the movies, the, the movie maker. You're gonna click over here where the movie maker is right here. Movie maker, left double click it twice. The window pops open. This window pops open here. It says an unexpected error has occurred. Setup was not able to detect any Windows media updates. Please try again later. Just press OK. It'll go away. Then, see, I have, um, I have pictures already loaded up in here. But in order to load the pictures, you go to your left corner here where it says Import Media. Left-click Import Media. You left, in, left Import Media. You find your music first. This is the first thing you do. You click on the freestyle music that you had mixed. Click on the freestyle and import. The music will load up on the left corner over here, in the left top corner. Left click it, hold it down, and drag it on to the second line over here, to the second part where it says audio slash music. <coughs> then right click the song that's up in these this, uh, pictures here and remove it because you don't want to load the pictures with the music on it because it's going to take too long. So you go to the music up here and you right click it, you delete it, you remove it. Now to load it, you go back to media and you find your pictures. You go to pictures folder, say disco, you left click disco, you see the pictures will open up and then you highlight them and press import on the bottom here where it says import and cancel all media files just press import left click it it'll load up into this window here now to get all these all these pictures on the line number one you can either take it drag and drop it which will take you so long or you can right click it in the blank space here right click and select all all of them are highlighted all of them are highlighted here so you go to the highlighted area where they're all highlighted right click it and add to timeline it says add to timeline you add it to timeline it'll automatically load up on the first the first line up here then you have down here you have a window where uh, a slider where you can slide this to see how far that you have to go see it'll jump back but then you do it again and it'll stay in place see there's no there's no pictures up here so you have to get pictures loaded up all the way until you get to the end of the song and match up the pictures with the song at this end here. So you continue to select all, right? You continue to add to timeline. But keep an eye on this little bar down here when it gets all the way close to the end because if you load too many pictures, it's going to go past the song. So keep an eye on that, that little bar that's down here that moves. Now it's moving up. See, as it's moving up. It's up here now. So keep right clicking, add to timeline. Add to timeline. That's how you do it. Add to timeline. So now that should be good enough because I got a lot, a lot of pictures in there. So maybe I can do one more. Okay. I went over a little bit. See how I went over a little bit? It jumps back. So I went over one, two, three, I went over four of them. So just click onto the picture, right click it and remove. The next picture, right click it, remove. Next picture, right click it, remove. Next picture, right click it, remove. So now it's a little too short. It's a little too short for the song here. So just go to the corner of it. Once you get here, you left click it. A red arrow pops open and says both ways. Just left click it, hold it down, and slide it over till it matches the song. So now it's matched the song, the ending of the song, and that's it. Now you go publish, go to the import media, audio movie, auto movie, and publish movie. You click on publish movie, this window pops up where it says this computer published for um, playback on your computer. You just leave that highlighted, just press next. Once you press next, the movie 1001 is already highlighted. So you rename it here. If you don't rename it, it'll just say movie. Then you got to rename it later on after it. 
but you can rename it to say freestyle freestyle whatever mega mix that you know from DJ Cali G you rename it there and then just press next and then just press publish on the bottom right bottom uh, corner there publish and then next it'll convert it give it 60 seconds 65 seconds it'll convert it it's converting you got 55 seconds I'm showing Cali G. Um, no, you're not in it. I'm, it's on the camera. It's on the computer. I'm showing Cali G how to work this program. So as it's converting, just leave it convert. It takes like maybe not even a minute, uh, a minute and a half. So as it converts, uh, you're gonna. You, it's gonna go to the videos folder. That's where that movie's gonna be in the videos folder. And the videos folder is on the left side, you'll see. Uh, you have to find it on your computer. Okay, it's almost finished. It's converting. That's how I do the move. Uh, that's how I do the pictures. Okay, so press finish and it's done. Then you minimize the program. Go to download shortcut on the left side here. The left side. Left click it. On the left pane here, you'll see uh Quick access, all this stuff. On the bottom, it will say pictures, music, downloads, videos. Left click on videos, and the movie will be here. That mix that you did will be right here, freestyle. That's where it will be at. I just opened it up with Windows Media Player. Okay. And that's about it. And then you take it from there. You go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. Go up on the right corner here. And create a video. Or post. Right click it. Upload video. And then select files. Not on the, the arrow up here. Down here the blue selection says select files. Click that. And then go to videos on the left side here in the corner. And then you pr press videos and pick your, your one. I, I'm not going to do it because it's going to upload it. So I already uploaded it. And then you just left click it and open. And that's it. You got your video up in there. It'll download, it'll upload into, uh, it'll upload into YouTube and that's it, man. You're done. Then you can um, change it from there, the name or whatever you want to do when it opens up. Okay, I hope this, uh, this video helped you out. If not, I'll call you, bro. All right, then. Thanks a lot for watching. Everybody, thank you for subscribing and watching. This is DJ Tony Torres and a little tutorial of Windows Movie Maker. Thanks a lot. God bless you all, and I'll see you on my next mix.